Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for week eight of the Watchlist Weevil Challenge. If you don't know what this challenge is, we have the page and posts linked in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and get started by going to our watch list. And you get that by going to your My WikiTree menu and scrolling down to watch list. So while I show the demonstration, Pam, what's our challenge for this week? Well, thanks, Azure. Our challenge this week has to do with finding matches for your profile. Um, because we're a collaborative tree, um, we want to have only one profile per person. And it's easy to create a new profile, but we want to be sure to check that somebody didn't already build a profile for that person. And as you're creating a profile, which many of you probably did during the Connectathon um, on different times, um, you get lots of checks to watch to see that you're not duplicating something. But if you um, are solving an unknown or you add a date or a surname, it might be that that connects to a profile that already exists. So um, it, it's always important to check. So here's how we do that. So go find to matches. Yeah, mm -hmm. find matches. Mm -hmm. And for this one, I'm just going to put in a specific surname down here in the search. And then hit this big button, find possible matches in your watch list. So there we go. We have a couple here. So when we have a possible match that we come across and it looks like it's batching, we have the same year and a place of birth and year of death. So if you open that up for those two profiles, here we go. Just look a little bit closer. And I do know that these are the same people because they have the same spouses. Spouse name is the same. So then what you'd want to do is say, that, yes, this is the match and you want to initiate a merge. And we always want to go from the highest profile number into the lowest so that we end with the lowest number. Uh, for the surname. So we can compare side by side those two profiles. Make sure we do have the right number in there. And it looks like we do. So then you can then at the top, there's a button highlight, a link highlighted, merge them. It's a clear duplicate is my explanation. And then you always want to make sure that you look at what the final text is going to be uh, to make sure that it's not um, duplicating statements. So you can see that there is no duplicated statements, but we can take out this family tree handed down because we have actual source, source citations and we can confirm the merge. So that, in a nutshell, is how you find a match and then you merge them. I'm just going to refresh and that should be gone now. Maybe it's going to take a moment for it to clear. So what's next, Pam? What's our other match that we were looking for? Well, in your case, they were both yours and you could go ahead and complete the match. But sometimes you'll find one that matches up, but you don't have permission to merge it because it belongs to somebody else. So you may say merge them and you explain it's a duplicate, but then it just goes to a, a reminder that it's going to take some time and you may have to leave it be. And in 30 days, if the other person doesn't respond or if there's any debate, then it can be completed. So, yeah, and it, what, what she means by belongs to the other person, it just means that 
that person's on the trusted list and you're not. So you don't have the ability to do the merge. Right. And that happens with me when I work on unknowns a lot because I will find an unknown profile. And when I put the, excuse me, the last name and the dates and everything in after I've sourced it, then I go and check for matches um, on my, my, on the, um, on my profile, on the profile. And it will take me to one that matches up exactly. That's and great. then I have to approach that profile manager and say, hey, we can put these two together. And I have to wait for that response. Yeah. And if you get through this week and you find that you like doing this, uh, finding matches and merging them, getting them cleaned up, you may be interested in the Arborist Project because that's what they do. They take on the mission of improving the health of our tree by seeking out and merging duplicate profiles. So um, again, if you're interested in that, check that, check those, that project out. Uh, it's a great project to, to join. Yeah. All right, and then the other matches we were gonna talk about today was on here on your watch list, this FS matches find FS matches. And so that's family search. If you click that link, it takes you to a page that you can see you're logged into WikiTree and you're logged into family search. What that does is it tries to find the WikiTree profile information out on family search and where it finds a match, then you can say create match. So can, that's a great way to link back to Wikitree uh, or link from Wikitree to the uh, family search profile. So check that out. You can see I have a few here and you can say how certain or uncertain the match is. And I know that this one's certain. So I'm just going to say create match. And now if you go to this profile on Wikitree, You'll see that down here in the research section, it has the link to family search for this profile on Wikitree. It's a matching it up and creating that link. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to family search, a second, I have to log in. <laughs> Lately, it's been logging me out more often. I feel like I have to sign in more often than I used to. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So here's the profile on Family Search. When you go to his sources. Yeah, it's not in the sources section like it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, so it just may be that they're working on um, updating the, the app to do that because it's not, it used to be that it added a line item here and it's not here anymore. So just something to keep in mind and look out for, but it does create the link from the WikiTree profile to the family search profile. So it's what's great there. about using, I'm sorry, Azure, I cut you off. That's okay. Go ahead. What's great about using this tool is you might find a cousin or what's a real treat is when you do this and you discover that somebody else has already done all the work on this person. And there's this profile there with their parents and their kids and their spouse and everything done. And you can just tie into it. And it's such a wonderful tool rather than having to invent the whole thing yourself. So it's important yeah. for the health of our tree, but it's also a big work saver for you to connect with work that's already been done on the tree. So your challenge this week, are we ready for that, Azure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, your, your challenge this week is to try to look for matches for some of the profiles that have stumped you that you're working on and see if you can connect, make some connections that didn't happen before. And if you can't find anything and your whole tree is perfect, I'm so jealous but you could always go check with the arborists and see how you could help there. So that's your challenge this week is all about matches. And 
there will be the link for the G2G post where you can report on what you did will be here down at the bottom LinkedIn and think about following the tag that is linked here, watch list weevils, because you'll be able to uh, see who else is following the tag. You'll be able to see all the G2G posts and the space pages. On YouTube, think about following or subscribing to the Wikitree channel on YouTube so that you can uh, be alerted to new content. And again, tune in each Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern to get the new week uh, challenge. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and we will see you next week. Bye. This is week, week, this is week eight. Four more to go. See you next week. <laughs>